can't say this is the most controversial take ever, but the Jailer really is not the best villain of Warcraft, not even close. Weirdly enough, he's supposed to be the most important villain ever, topping even Sargeras, yet he is as generic as they come and his introduction so far is a mess to say the least, and I can't say much character development was even done by 9.2, which seems to be the ending of the expansion. So why is Zobal potentially the worst villain of the entire Warcraft series? Check out Gamevo, this video is sponsored, where you can get almost any game, DLC, Shadowlands and Human Game Time at discounted prices. Use code Oron for an even larger discount by clicking the link in the description. World of Warcraft is a universe filled with villains, everything from minor characters, bandits, dragons, demons and all sorts of enemies that we constantly face and that we have constantly faced. However, there are a few big boys that are just on a whole different level. Initially, this was the Legion, Sargeras, and they were literally the center of the universe, the most dangerous threat ever. Most things revolved around their invasions, they literally reshaped our entire planet, and they were constantly lurking in the background, waiting for every opportunity to return and to conquer us. At the same time, the old gods were around. In Warcraft 3, they were just a minor mention, more like an easter egg type thing, but in World of Warcraft, they got a significantly larger role. We learned about their minions, the cultists and then around Wrath of the Lich King they got real big when we learned about Yasharaj potentially corrupting the entire continent as well as creating the Emerald Nightmare by interfering with the world trees and a whole bunch of bad things happening. At the time for all of you old god that followed the lore of a decade ago, there was a saying that if the old gods were released in their full might, even Sargeras himself would tremble at the sight of them. Well, Fast forward a few years, the Chronicle comes out and completely reshapes the lore. Sagittas still maintains his significance, in fact he becomes even more powerful, however the old gods get nerfed to oblivion and we learned about the void lords which are apparently the true big bad. In the end, old gods appear to just be their weapons that they send to other planets to corrupt and apparently turn world souls to their side. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying they aren't powerful and more powerful than almost anyone else on the planet, but they're really not a uh, big cosmological players that we used to think they were. Well, since the big chronicle revolution, the lore evolved even more and Sargeras, despite being crazy powerful, was actually defeated quite easily, surprisingly easily. Now he is not done with and there is a possibility to return, but we did ultimately imprison him in a pretty swift manner. So another fast forward and now we are in the Shadowlands expansion and Blizzard decided to introduce a completely brand new character to the game. Keep in mind until this point they always built upon existing characters and just added stuff on. Sargeras was in the background as far as Warcraft 3, they only retconned and changed some of his lore later on, however Zobal the Jailer is a completely brand new entity with 100% new lore like a clean slate. I'm not saying this is a bad thing at all because let's be real the game is nearly 20 years old of course they need to introduce new characters of course new villains need to be made they were eventually going to run out of steam either way but the bad side and why the jailer is so poorly received is because the way they added him. Blizzard didn't come in with the angle of how the Jailer is one of the new cosmological players. I mean they did, but they went far beyond that. Blizzard came in with the fact that the Jailer is not just a big player, but he's more important than anyone else we ever met. This is the guy that apparently knows the secrets of the entire universe that is going to uncover any moment now as he reaches Azeroth. He apparently played everyone for a fool and Sargeras was but a pawn in his ancient 4D chess game. Or he was an ally. We still don't know. Of course, we are not aware how much work the Dreadlords did for Zobal directly as they served in Atreus, but obviously there is a connection because the Jailer did create Frostmourne and the Lich King was his project. However, to make this matter even crazier, they also manipulated Kill Jaden like he was nothing and this was supposed to be one of the most intelligent beings in the entire universe. Even though it sounds bad, this isn't really all that bad. Originally, it had a lot of potential. They took a really huge big massive bite but with this the issue is what they can chew is not even close to it as i said it is okay to introduce new villains even new villains that are larger than anyone else that we ever faced before but really if you go that route you need to deliver on that which thus far they have not i think the 
issue is with the content out and the patch schedule, a big problem that all of you are familiar with and it is still possible to salvage some of that lore depending on what happens in 9.2 and beyond. However, there is also another problem that I can't say too much can be done about and that is with the actual delivery of Zobal as a character and really that might just be an even larger problem that isn't really as discussed. To say that Zobal doesn't have depth as a character is a huge understatement, really at some points he looks like he came out of a random villain generator that you could find on google, big bald muscular guy with tattoos that talks in riddles, talks slowly, but with a crazy bass boost to his voice that you can't even understand without subtitles, there is always two steps ahead of us, really that seems as generic as it gets. They did kinda explain the looks as he was that way because he was split away from his sigil, but I still feel like that is way too simple. The only hope I have for him now is that they might add some depth as to why he wants to undo the universe, because really, at this point, he seems to be evil for the sake of being evil, tortures everyone, uses everyone as tools, and is chasing his mysterious goal that we puny mortals cannot possibly hope to ever understand. Even with Sylvanas, there could have been some depth there as in he really wants to build a new world, but it turned out he was literally just using her and there isn't much more than that, that was, she was just a tool, that betrayal scene was as predictable as it gets. I know they're kinda trying to artificially add more layers to him as they connected him to older bits of well developed lore, him manipulating or allying Sergeras, creating the Ledge King, being behind events that we didn't even know about in the past, but I feel like that could have been done a bit more subtly instead of just shoehorning him and destroying previous characters, I'd say quite a large portion of players are pissed off that through the jailer they lessen the significance of characters like Artis, Kill Jaden, Sergeras, and instead turn this new guy as a true villain, and that they were all just pawns in his 200 million IQ 4D intelligent game. Still, the biggest issue is him actually being crazy important in the lore, yet his story is progressing over the course of two patches. It is a bit ridiculous. Really, the guy that wants to undo the universe and is behind everything, and now all of that is going to wrap up in two patches. I think that is just big beyond stupid, we barely met the guy, heck we didn't even really meet him, we barely know much aside that he was the arbiter and that he is pissed off for some reason, and now we're thrown into the world as if we knew him for the past 10 years and now his master plan is coming to action. We are going into this Zenit Mortis that we just learned about like 30 minutes ago, how can we be hyped up when we barely even learned about it? Again, how can we be hyped up when there is barely any build up? As I mentioned, I'm not against new characters, but I'd say the pacing and the character development is really off with the jailer and that it really messed up as you can't actually connect with him and he's really not nearly as engaging as some of the past villains of the Warcraft series. Thank you for watching, check out what will happen in Shadowlands finale by clicking on the screen and check out Lord's Academy for videos of real world history. See you next time.